and it's a big little barbecue and other things I want to do. And this is my daughter Hannah. We're out here on the porch swing. Say hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hey, interesting coincidence. My in-laws and my wife's in-laws and both sets of her grandparents live on the eastern side of Louisiana, north of New Orleans. So we live on the western side of Louisiana next to Texas. So we were over there visiting and on our way back, we took a detour when we got to Lafayette down south and went to Avery Island where they make the Tabasco sauce. We were going to visit the uh, Jungle Gardens, but we got caught up in all that Baton Rouge uh, traffic. That Jungle Gardens is a wildlife preserve. Didn't get to see that, but we did get to see the Tabasco factory, and we want to show you a little bit of that. Okay, here we are pulling into the Tabasco plant. I don't know what all I can put on there, but this is it. Oh yeah, big air conditioners right there. Yay! Tab All right. What's that say? Tabasco Visitor Center and 1868 restaurant. Oh cool, I'm gonna go eat some 1868. Here we go. It is the Tabasco plant. Right there. Spanish style building. Huh? Yeah, look uh, at the figure. Yep. Big thing. Reconstruction uh, era building looks like, or styled after it anyway. Uh, all right, well, that looks like the main entrance, but the restaurant is all over there. So we're gonna go over there and eat first because it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we're hungry. But that's the main building. And over there, you can see the uh, big old tanks there. You got Tabasco on it. I wonder if they're full of the delicious sauce. Tabasco Global Kitchen, 1868 restaurant. We're gonna go in and eat. There's my two smiling kids, Hannah and Eli, here at the Tabasco Plant Restaurant. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing they're serving lunch today because we came hungry. Rack with all the different Tabasco salsas, spins around on the table. Look at that, look at that. Oh. Even got the Tabasco sriracha. And the Tabasco ketchup. The Tabasco this ketchup is like delicious. Spicy. Oh, that stuff's good too. Love that stuff. Scorpion sauce. Haven't had that one yet. Buffalo style. What else they got? Oh, I've had the, had, had the buffalo sauce style either. I've had the jalapeno. Garlic and smoke. Tabasco jalapeno is good stuff. Habanero is good too. I've had the habanero, that's good too, right? I've had the sriracha before. What is this? Raspberry chipotle. Look at that, right there on the table. The food in the restaurant is served cafeteria style and the menus were hanging on the back wall. You could pause the video to see the uh, menus. They even had dessert there. Everything is made with a Tabasco sauce in it. My wife had the chili with a dollop of sour cream and some cheese. My daughter had crawfish nachos. My son had crawfish etouffee, even though it was late July and not crawfish season. I had that delicious pulled pork sandwich made with the Tabasco chipotle sauce, which I love so much. The pulled pork sandwich was pretty good too. I ate it all. Then we tried all all the sauces and we ended with the scorpion so here's eli putting it on his spoon that's what he wants to try all right try the scorpion sauce buddy. i believe in you all right. you can handle it <laughs> okay yeah. you got it it's hot though yeah it's, it is hot you did well um, Proud of is it. it too hot for me no probably not not for a little bit, yeah. This is, this is Hannah's second take at it. Third. <laughs> Third take at the scorpion. She likes it. Yeah, I had a little bit on my nachos That before. stuff is hot, though. I thought, oh, it's not hot. And then it hit the back of my throat. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of, like, a child child. Look, Eli's getting hot. not too bad. Eli's <laughs> <laughs> getting hot. I'm very proud of you, Mommy. That scorpion's hot, man. It's like that, tinsin' that's stuff, up. That's All right, where's the cat? Ooh, it's good. It's It's so hot, you found it. Is it tinsel for you? I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> now, my daughter ate a Tabasco pepper and a cayenne pepper out of my dad's garden the other day. If you saw my last video, you saw that. So, anyway. <laughs> is it, is it's been about 30 it's seconds like, later. It's like tinsing up here. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for my right. taste buds. All right. My wife's begging for some milk. 
Yeah, but where's that scorpion? He likes going. That's hot. He's eating out all his um, all his mayonnaise and stuff to kind of cool it. Where's all that scorpion? Sour cream. Where's the scorpion sauce? Hannah's tried it three times. I've only tried it once, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it once my, on camera. My, oh, it's right here. Tabasco scorpion here in the Tabasco restaurant, baby. It's hot. Let's go. How much y'all want me to put? A one or a two or a three? -er? I did a one or a three. You had three drops. Yes, and I'm thinking one, I should have done two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's how much I'm taking. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if y'all can see that. Right there. You had more than that? Just a little, yeah. Was well, that a challenge? My daughter just showed me, she said, I had more than that. It's not a challenge, Robert. That's all I need. Oh, I dropped some on there. Put that on the spoon, too. All right, guys. I'm so full, I can't even drink any. Here's the spoonful. Um, you all know, see? My nose. Oops, got on my hand. I just dropped some off, the, off of my hand. That's going to burn. I'm going to put another drop to make up for that. The spoon is, you know. The spoon is full enough. The spoon is full enough? There we go. That's how full the spoon is. Put another drop in it. Stop. Stop. All right, y'all ready? Wow. That was a lot of that scorpion sauce. So that was my second take at it. Hannah had three takes at it, but the first time I only had one drop. I had almost a whole spoonful. The cook came out to check on me, offer me some milk or some cream or something to, um, go down I, I denied that just had the diet coke but um she came out and i got to talk to her a little bit about how the pulled pork was made and so, stuff like that and anyway she was uh she couldn't have been kinder she said there is one at least one of the tabasco products in every meal they serve there at the restaurant after the cafeteria it's on to the gift shop and you can buy a whole or half tabasco barrels uh for sale i bought mine all chopped up in wood chips so i could cook with them then on to the museum where you uh, get your tickets. You even get a little bottle of Tabasco with your tickets. Look inside the museum there, NASCAR, golf, baseball, and a tie. And then a display of all the various bottles of uh, Tabasco and boxes and labels they've used throughout their century and a half of existence. It is the original hot sauce. A display of pop culture. Everybody from Jim Rockford to Darth Vader has used Tabasco sauce. Even used in one of my daughter's favorite Disney movies. Mine too, because that Disney movie took place in Louisiana. And and you know it's disturbing if you don't use Tabasco on your eggs. You got to have it on your eggs. Michael Anthony of the band Van Halen used to play a Tabasco bass guitar. It was stolen from a New Orleans restaurant and gone for 11 years till they found it. It's now in the Tabasco Museum and signed by Michael Anthony himself. Want to find out more about Avery Island? Pause the video. On to the greenhouse and warehouse, but you got to watch out for the bears and the alligators because they like to eat their people covered in Tabasco sauce. So I had to protect my wood chips as we crossed the bayou. And on the other side of the bayou, there is a bamboo maze. My son decided to get lost in the bamboo maze. The bamboo was imported from China. All right, South Louisiana in July and a greenhouse, both humid and redundant. But in the greenhouse, you can see all the peppers that are grown for Tabasco sauces, especially, of course, the Tabasco pepper. Pause the video if you want to read about it. Or Le Petit Bâton Rouge. All right, and then in the barrel warehouse where the Tabasco pepper mash is aged for three years in these old whiskey barrels and uh, covered with salt to seal them. Pretty cool. I wish one of those trucks would back up to my house. Kids had fun on the salt mine rail car playing around with it. As you enter the building, there are these plastic models of the peppers used in Tabasco sauces. Why is the Tabasco pepper growing upside down? Then the blending room. Let me tell you about that. Here's where the pepper mash patiently aged in white oak barrels for up to three years becomes the finished Tabasco sauce. A McElhenney family member personally inspects and tastes each batch of pepper mash for flavor and heat. Once vinegar is stirred into the mash, the concoction is mixed intermittently for two to three weeks, then strained of skins and seeds before being sent to the factory floor for bottling. A firm believer in sustainability, sustainability, I thought I had this going now. All right, back on me. McElhenney, because uh, I need to be stoned, yeah. McElhenney Company grinds the leftover skins and seeds and markets this fiery byproduct to other businesses for use in everything from candy to medicines. Big blue red to sign. I, I can read. <laughs> Let's go. It's the plant. The mixing, the blending. 
The blending room was a pretty impressive place where all that pepper mash is blended with vinegar for 28 days before being bottled. Want to find out about an Avery Island salt mine? Pause the video and read that sign. There's a big block of rock salt and a display of what it looks like inside a salt mine. When you come out of the salt mine, so to speak, you get to see the... Uh, factory there where they're bottling up all the uh, Tabasco. They bottle over 750,000 bottles of Tabasco per day. All right. It is shipped to over 180 countries. Think about that. There's only 195 countries in the world and 180 of them you can buy Tabasco brand pepper sauce in. All right. So that's a lot of hot sauce. That looks like the habanero coming off the line with those yellow labels and the regular Tabasco in the back back there where that gentleman's working. All right. It, they check them out and they get them into this little machine here that puts them in the various boxes and they uh, ship them off all around the world. You come out of that area and there's this another display area with giant uh, Tabasco models. Hannah had to hug one of them. Hey, she likes Tabasco and so does the Queen of England. And now you and I can say I visited the Tabasco Visitor Center. All right, before we get to me trying the scorpion sauce, it was good, by the way. It was really good. All right, you already saw her try it. We'll talk a little bit about lessons learned. I learned a real important lesson on that trip. What'd you learn, Hannah? I learned that they were not selling the tins of chocolate and that I am reduced to only ever finding them at World Market because I love the little tins of Tabasco chocolate. Sometimes they sell them in the bookstores, but I they didn't have them and I was really sad. We're both hotheads and she loves that Tabasco chocolate. You can get them at a World Market too, but uh, she tried them in the gift store. They were out. That's what you learned? The whole trip, that's what you learned? <laughs> I learned something very important. Check this out. Let me see. She got this little bottle of Chipotle. That's what the little label used to look like for Chipotle, okay? As you see, it's got a little color to it. The new, they've changed the label recently. The new Chipotle look like that. It doesn't have the color on it. They, the Tabasco Chipotle the is one, one, one of my favorites. The top just says smoked. It doesn't have a printed Chipotle label, right? Uh, I think. They also had some good peppers there. What was your favorite pepper at, uh, sauce in the... Um, I think it was the garlic Tabasco. As far as flavor, I think I like the garlic one. They were all really good and they all have different uses. I've had that garlic one before. It's pretty good. I, I tried a new one called the roasted peppers and the roasted pepper was very, very good. Very, very good. In the gift shop, did you try the, uh, did you try oh, the family the reserve? Shop, did you try I the did family? try the family reserve. It had been, um, it had sat in the barrels for eight years. Eight years? Yeah, eight years. The, eight the Family years. Reserve, y'all. Aged I, for eight years. I tried that, went back three times to try that, and I thought about buying it. Mm -hmm. And it was $10 for a five-ounce bottle. I was like, that's $2 an ounce, man. But I went back and tried that Family Reserve three times. Yes. Right? And it was really good. I, it was really, because they make it, they age the peppers for eight years. They ferment in the barrels for eight years. Then they use white wine vinegar, not straight white distilled mm -hmm. vinegar, but white wine vinegar with it. And so it's got a flavor like the original Tabasco, but... It doesn't quite hit you with that real sharp vinegary taste that makes Tabasco what Tabasco is. It's a little bit and bitter. it's got a bolder taste toward the back, but it's very, very similar to this. So you could use it on anything, unlike like the chipotles or the jalapenos, which are good on Mexican foods, or the, the garlic, which is good on Italian foods. That family reserve would be good on anything. And I kept thinking, if I buy it, I'm going to go through this bottle in a week. Yeah. I'm going to go through the bottle in a week. So I didn't buy it, but the whole way home I kept regretting it. But we're going back because we got to see the Jungle Gardens, yes. and I will get the family reserve. Also, in the gift shop, soon. they were giving out free samples of ice cream and soda. They had, there was a sauce, um, the raspberry chipotle sauce. I didn't try any of that It was cream. more like a, it was kind of more like a pepper jelly, but a little bit thinner. And... They had an, um, an ice cream with that, and that was so, so good. It was just vanilla that. ice cream and the chipotle sauce. And then they had good. one with the jalapeno sauce we, we bought the and jalapeno ice cream. Sauce. And the jalapeno good. sauce is good. It's not real hot. Yeah. And it's good on Mexican stuff, and it's good on lots of things. And if the, you find this a little too vinegary, you find that a little too um, spicy, mm -mm. the jalapeno uh, Tabasco is good on lots of things. And I, I like that on nachos, especially when yeah, I don't have enough peppers. It. Like if I'm out of jalapeno peppers, just put it in the cheese with the nachos. And they that do sell this good. one at Walmart. And it's but... good when you mix it in cheese, like cheese dips. That's good. Mm -hmm. Chipotle is good too. On mixes well with barbecue sauce. Y'all seen? I've done Chipotle videos before. I love the Chipotle sauce. Of course, you can't hardly beat this. All right. I learned one thing very, very important. 
Very, very important. All right, your dad's getting old, right? So I'm up. Uh, I'm sorry, my dog Jake just joined us. He's hey, down Jake. here, and he just bumped the tripod. All right, Jake. Come Jake, on. you want to see on camera? Well, he's, uh, he's big lab. He's right down here. He's out of the shot. But anyway, um, if he bumps the, don't bump my tripod, Jake. <laughs> Come on Jake, now. Okay, go. go away, Jake. Go. go All right. Come anyway, on. I could cut this out, but I'm not. You putting Jake inside? Jake. Jake, go inside. Jake, come on. Bye, buddy. All right. Jake's inside. Sorry. Come back, Anna. She shut the door. All right. Hey, I learned something very important. All right. So your dad's getting old, right? Yeah. And I'm 48. I'll be 49 for the end of the year. Yeah. Last summer, I got put on blood pressure medicine. Very low dosage. It's like the lowest dose he can prescribe for blood pressure medicine, but I'm on it. And another hot sauce that we like to use, it's made in New Orleans with cayenne peppers instead of Tabasco peppers. Uh, you know, it's clear. It's Louisiana's Pure. That's all I'm saying. You know, Louisiana's Pure hot sauce. It's got like 135 milligrams of sodium in it. Less than another popular Louisiana brand, but I found out that Tabasco, the original Tabasco, only has 35 grams. Of course, it's been on this label for a long time. Growing up, we didn't have these kind of labels. All we had were the ingredients labels. I did not realize how much less salt original Tabasco has than the yeah. other brands I've been using. It really has a low amount of salt compared to other brands of Louisiana style hot sauces. So, even though this is more expensive, I need to use this more often for the lower salt. There's a reason it's more expensive. And that is Tabasco's pepper. Huh? It's popular, but Tabasco peppers have a lower yield than cayenne, which most Louisiana sauces are made out of. And they age them in those white oak barrels for three years. Another brand of Louisiana hot sauce ages for one year. The brand I was talking about New Orleans ages for six months and they're using Cayennes, not Tabasco's. And uh, they grow, they, Tabasco from the seeds grown on Avery Island to the fields in Colombia and throughout Central America and Mexico. You know, there's a state in Mexico called Tabasco. Tabasco. Right? Where right. they produce some of the Tabasco Most peppers. of Mexico's chocolate. They do produce a lot of Mexico's chocolate there. All right. And anyway, um, they do. How'd you know that? I don't know. I have a good Spanish teacher. Awesome. All right. Anyway, um, they, there's a reason. It, it Three years. Three years in a barrel. This stuff is good. It really is. And lower salt content. All right. So, the scorpion sauce. Okay. How was it? The less this, it was so really good. You tried good. it three times. I In moderation, it you can probably survive that. Um, but it was, I had, I had a little bit on a nacho, because I had those nachos, which are amazing. I had, um, then I had a little bit on a spoon, and then I got curious a little while later, and I had a little bit more on a spoon. And you saw that, in, you saw that a little earlier in the video. All right, here's the thing. We like spicy foods and we like hot sauce but we're not that going to try the stupid hot stuff that just blows your mind and mask all the food I and stuff. I don't try I've those tried... fries at Taco Bell. The Reaper fries? I don't try those. I oh, haven't heard of them but I'm sure they're good. Anyway, we do like spicy foods but I've tried scorpion sauces before. I've, I know a lot of teenagers in the work I do and sometimes they'll come up to me and they'll say, hey, you gotta try this. And somebody tried, I tried some scorpion sauce last and did fine with it but just blazing hot and no flavor. That Tabasco scorpion sauce has some flavor yes, to it, it and it would be good on foods. It really would. Yes. I could see some things. I wouldn't want to put it in my gumbo and I yeah. wouldn't want to put it on my red beans and rice, but I could definitely see putting it on those boring uh, burritos your brother eats, those frozen mm -hmm. burritos, because yeah. you need a lot of stuff to kick that up. And it, it, it takes about half a bottle of Tabasco <laughs> to kick up those little boring burritos. I could see uh, putting it on pizza. The scorpion sauce oh, would be yeah, good on pizza. Oh, yeah, it would be good on pizza. It would be really good it, on pizza. It had, like, if I know that there's a Scoville unit scale, but if you were to, to about describe... About 9,000 on that Scoville wow. unit scale. If you were to describe a hot sauce as a frequency, it, like, had a little bit of a higher, freer taste. A yeah, freaking it was really good because that pineapple in it. And I think one reason that... The, Tabasco habanero is not my favorite habanero sauce. It's because it's got mango in it. And, you know, I don't like mango oh, and peaches, right? Okay. I, I love habaneros. I love mango. Yeah, she yeah. likes mango. I don't like mango uh, and peaches too much. So the Tabasco habanero has not been my favorite. But the scorpion's even hotter than that. And um, But it had flavor. It was good. It's not blow your mind, but 
it's in, it would be enjoyable of food. I do not recommend okay. filling up a spoonful or even okay. filling up a spoonful a little over half full like I did and in, in eating it. But um, two drops, it was a lot of fun. One, two drops is totally, it, it, that's got you covered. Didn't need the milk though, did I? Did take a few sips of the Diet Coke. All right, so here it is, guys. Enough without further ado. Here it is, me trying the scorpion sauce. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue, talking about our favorite Tabasco. Put another drop in it. Stop. Stop. All right, y'all ready? Y'all saw me eat that Tabasco pepper and that cayenne the other day in my other video? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's got some power, baby. That's got some power. Hot at first, and then like three seconds later, it hit the back. You're right. Of it's head. not hot at first, and then it hits you. Whew. That scorpion. Gotta get some of that scorpion. Ooh, that's hot, y'all. All right, guys. Gotta take the dot. Gotta take the dot coke.